What is up, guys? It's Bob Gar. We are exactly two and two, and I think five wins and five losses. I think exactly something like that. Uh, we're like dead even going into this last game. This hand's a little awkward, but I think it's a keep. We got two of our best threat and one early play and one pump. Um, could be bad depending on what we're up against, but could also be very good. Being on the draw kind of sucks with this deck, but that's the way it always goes. Hopefully by turn two, we will get a turn two play. We got two draws to draw one. We're against Boggles. That is not a good matchup for us. We do have some good things against them, but not in the main board. We do get a turn to play, which is good. If he has lifelink, we're totally toast. If he doesn't have lifelink, we might just be able to put down a wall and then aspect before we can get too far along. Vancor and... Okay, so he's going to swing for five here. We're going to play Avatar. Yeah, lifelink is what will, will wreck us. Um, if he doesn't have lifelink, we don't have a... I wouldn't say we have a great chance, but we have some chance. Yeah, it really depends a lot on what he has, I guess. Well, that is lifelink. That is the thing I said that he needed to not have. He has trample, too. No real point in blocking here. And he just has a very good draw. I think we just lose here. I don't think there's anything we can realistically do to stop this. He only has one card left. Um, I guess we could... See, playing Leatherback just does nothing. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six... Don't have a sacrifice effect in the main board. Could catch a prowler plus that. That doesn't do any better. He's doing for eight here. We need to block at least two. I guess it does slightly better. Well, let me let me think of the best case scenario. So the best case scenario is a top deck of land. 100%. That's the only possible way. So say he has no more enchantments after draw. I play Avatar of the Resolute. Block here. Go to one. I'll have this, this, and this. I will have swung for five. So I'll be at 15. But then I'll go back up to... 23. I will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Still not going to be enough. Yeah, there's there's absolutely, I don't think there's any way to win from here. So I'm just going to concede. And we're going to move on to sideboarding. So prey upons are not good, not good anyway, and they're definitely not good in this. We want all of our natural states. Uh, we want our unravel of the aether. We want um, back to nature, destroy all enchantments. So those are all important to this matchup. Back to nature is by far the most important card in our entire deck. Um, what do we go down? Well, we can go down a militant. We can probably go down a rancor because they're not going to be blocking all that much. Or if they are, we're just kind of screwed probably anyway. I think rancor and vines both are not very important here. Troll aesthetic is... Tempting, but not important. Rancor, Vines is... Rancor is a lot faster. That's the advantage there. And I don't think he has a lot of removal. So let's do that over Vines. I think that's probably good. Maybe I should even keep in the Militant and get on another Vines. I just don't think Vines is... Not that it's not good. I just don't think it's important. I mean, Militant's not super important here either, I guess. Other than it's important to start doing damage quickly. Uh, Skylasher has reach. It doesn't really matter, but it could block... Has pro blue, so it could swing past the bogles and block a bogles forever. But most of the um, things you enchant are green, so it's not super relevant. How much time do I have left? A minute. So yeah, militant. Eh. Vines and raincore are both also both. Eh. Casting prowler is also eh. Now, nah, no, I'll go down to tusker. Tusker is like my least favorite card in the whole deck. I will go first. Well, it's nice and fast. If I got a second land, I might actually just. Win? I think it's a mulligan, though. And this seems quite good against him, although it's a little slow. I can wait a pretty long time and then instant speed back to nature. This one we're definitely keeping. Um, actually, I actually think I bottom this. I just need more stuff. Land, go. Okay. Boogles, all right, that's fine. He'll probably swing for a lot here. Strangle Geist. 
swing in. He has a land. Thriller their armor is one of his best. And he has Hina Umbra, also seems pretty good. Swings for four. All right, I'm in a state where I'm going to leave my guy back, probably. Rancor. Let me think. Do I go one more turn? I don't think he can kill me next turn, so I could. If I do, I Rancor here. If he plays another Ethereal Armor and plays Daybreak Coronet. Daybreak Coronet is plus three plus three, I think. He would do three, four, f five, six. So there'd be four in total. So it'd be four, five, no, so four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He would do a lot of damage. I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna pass here and probably back to nature on his turn. Breaks the uh, windswept teeth immediately. Okay, it goes to 13. Spirit mantle is pretty good. Another ethereal armor, pretty good. Packs in. Back to nature. Go to block. Okay, seems pretty good. Don't think I bother with Aspect here. I think I just start beating down. I mean, I have answers to two, his first two enchantments, basically, so. Play untapped. If he paths, I get the leather back, so path doesn't feel that bad either. I guess I could just kill him this turn if he doesn't have anything. Attack. He does have path. Okay, that seems fine. Yeah, I'll get another land. I mean, I guess if his last card is also path, uh, it's going to suck for me a little bit. But I still think if he doesn't have a creature, I'm going to win this battle eventually. So... Another land. All right, well, does he have another path? That's the question, right? My money would be on him having another... Yeah, if he had a path, he would have done it then, I think. Go to blocks, nothing. All right, aspect. We got it. All right, we got their game too, sweet. Yeah, I mean, worked out well. Obviously, we drew our best card in the matchup, but at least we're keeping it close. I, I still don't think this is a very good matchup for us at all, but at least we're keeping it close. I don't think there's anything else we really want to go. I, mean, I could go one of my pro blue guys. I mean, maybe they're just, maybe it's just better. I mean, it could just be better than a Tusker because Tuskers just aren't that good. I could also surprise him potentially. If he ends up swinging with him and... Yeah, I'll put in the Skylasher. What's the worst thing that could happen? I don't think it's very good, but... Could be worse, certainly. Well, it all comes down to this. Man, that Back to Nature was so good. That felt great. Ugh. No, we can't keep it. I mean, I'd like to, but I just don't think it's good enough. We have two natural states, at least. And we have a scry. I'll try it. Bottom, we need another land. But the natural state makes it at least a little bit better. He kept it seven, unfortunately, which is probably spells doom for us. Although he didn't show a creature yet. Tapped. He probably had path if, optionally. Um, unfortunately, our hand is not very good against the two drop, if that's what he has. Yeah, it's not very good against spirit dancer. 
All right, well, I'll play in a Prowler and pass turn and hope that I draw more land. Yeah, that just sucks. We had a one lander at seven that I guess I should have kept, and then a one lander at six that... I mean, the one lander at six is better. It's, it's way better, but we're just going to lose um, unless we draw land right now. I mean, we have to, like, top deck a land to have any sort of chance, especially because this keeps drawing cards. Um... Okay, that's not very good against us, but unfortunately the first strike is plenty good. Okay, it swings in. Land, oh thank god. Alright, well he doesn't have trample yet, so strangle it's a possibility. The other possibility is double natural state, which might be the best play that I have. But it probably still just loses. My best play is top decking the back to nature card. Daybreak Coronet. Um, I'm going to make it so you can't target it. Okay. Seems fine. Do I just take six here? Maybe I do. Probably do. I can kill one of these. But I still don't think that's going to be enough. Well, let's slow him down. Okay. Swings as a 3 5. Land actually wouldn't be terrible. That is pretty bad. Well, let's play down a Dryad Militant. I have another Natural State, which he probably knows, given how I played that. Uh, and he has a million lands. He's got to have some enchantments, right? Well, he just attacks with that. And I'm going to try to Natural State it. I'm going to double block. And if he wants to single target remove both my guys, that's fine. He has a path. Seems good. I am kind of low on land, so that's actually pretty good. Maybe he does just have two paths. Okay, he has another path. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I think I strangle root. And then the only question is, I think here I'll leave it back. I mean, I can make it a 6-5 to block. Now it's a little annoying. Another land. He has nothing. Another treetop village. Play down another one of these guys. I'm gonna swing with one of them. I'm holding up vines to keep them from enchanting the. Oh, actually, he's probably just gonna enchant the uh, scout now, so I don't know why I'm doing that. Spirit mantle. Oop. Turn off auto yield. Who's he targeting? Oh, he's targeting that one. All right. Well, I can't stop that one, so that's fine. And he gets to draw a card. So that's going to be a little scary. It's only a 2 2 right now. Another land. Daybreak Coronet on that one. I can't stop it. I can block it, but I can't. Oh, no, I can't block it now. It has Hexproof, so I can't use Fines on it. First Strike, Life Links, Vigilance, Protection from Creatures seems pretty good. Alright, I go to 6. Maybe I should have played this more aggressively. Well, uh, it's not looking good for our heroes here. Trying to, th I mean, basically I have to top deck. And if he has any enchantments, he just wins. If he, well, any damage enchantments, he just wins if he casts them there. I can't really attack in. 
like I said, this is a bad matchup, so I don't feel too bad about this. It's just, it's the way it is. So I'm going to put down all the creatures I can. Then I'm going to pass turn. I'm not going to bother attacking here because it would just gain him more life than it would do to him. Um, there are some weird flukes that would give me a chance to win the game. But basically, he would need to not have an enchantment here. And I would go to one. Well, he doesn't have an enchantment. I can't block. I go to one. And then I just need to top deck. Pretty much need to top deck. Back to nature. I think that's almost the only thing that doesn't lose me the game. But let's see what I draw. Experiment one definitely does not do it. I can attack here. Yeah, there's nothing that would win me the game. Screw it, I'm attacking all. Let's go for it. So it went 2-3. I actually don't... I mean, this is not a good matchup, but it totally was winnable if we, we drew a little better. Um, but we didn't... He drew pretty well that last game. All right. Cast with kicker. Boop. GG. That's the way it goes. We're playing a budget deck against against real decks. Um, not much you can say. Uh, we did pretty well. We, I mean, we were... Our opponent having any one card in hand other than a lightning bolt away from winning against uh, Grixis Delver. And we were pretty... I guess we got thrashed by um, Affinity. But we're pretty close here, too. We just needed... Slightly better draw. So, so I mean, 2-3 is about what you expect with a budget deck. I think this deck can 3-2 leagues pretty easily, but it's matchup dependent and it's draw dependent. It's a very draw dependent deck. It doesn't mulligan well, and if you don't get what you need either in your opener or in your first couple draws, you're going to lose the game. It has no filtering, and it has to be fast to have a chance in modern. So those are kind of the disadvantages of the deck. We ran into a couple of them throughout our playing of the deck through the uh, league. And I still think it did pretty well for a $10 deck. I am a little disappointed and quite frankly a little embarrassed that it didn't go at least 3-2 since it's like my favorite deck in the world pretty much. But it's only so much you can do. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, Bobgar here. I just really wanted to quickly say, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you enjoy my content in general and would like to see more of it, subscribe. I'll be coming out with more content in the future. And please leave me comments and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, both in terms of production and in terms of my play and my deck building and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.